Good morning! It's toque weather. Is it on straight? It is toque weather. Let's see. I haven't worn this thing in, since last winter. Go Jets, go! So yeah, it is zero degrees outside right now, which is freezing point. What's that in Fahrenheit? What's freezing point in Fahrenheit? 33? 30 something? 20 something? I don't know. I don't understand Fahrenheit. It's all odd numbers here and there, but zero degrees. It's cold. My bunk heater isn't working. I was freezing. I had to start her up and warm up halfway through the night. It was cold in here, so I gotta take this thing into the shop and say, hey, winter's almost here. My bunk heater's not working. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta get my satellite fixed again anyways on Monday, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully they'll have time for me in the shop. If not, then I guess it'll be next time I'm home. I don't know, my satellite's always broken. I don't know. They said they needed to replace the brain. What's that mean? I don't know. Didn't know my satellite had a brain, like Qualcomm. But wish I could do that, eh? When I get old, just replace my brain and just get a new one. Anyway. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go drop off my load now. We're in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We're gonna go pick up our load in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And we're gonna go home to Manitoba. It's about 13, 14 hour drive from here once we get going. So we're not, probably not gonna make it today, but uh, we'll see. Legally, we almost could. Legally, we can drive 13 hours, but not quite. Not quite. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Day five has started. So I lied before in the last clip. I'm not actually in Edmonton. I'm in Leduc, to south of Edmonton, but whatever. It's all the same to me. We got about 22 kilometers to our destination. Nine kilometers till we got to make some kind of turn to the right. I'm guessing Edmonton's nine clicks away. But that's about five miles. at our destination. The mission is almost over. I went inside and talked to the man and he said, go wait in your truck and we'll get to you when we get to you. I hate it when they say that. <laughs> Cause that sounds like they forgot I was coming and they're like, what are you doing here? <sighs> My phone is ringing and it's work right now. So I should probably answer it. But I want to listen to the ringtone. Okay, I'll answer. Hello. Well, Diesel. Well, you did some convincing and you got them to unload us. Right? Yeah, okay, I will be safe. Are you a statue? The new trick he knows, he plays statue doesn't move a muscle. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we are uh, here reloading now. We finally got unloaded. We were there for like three hours to unload like 10 pallets. I don't know what that was all about, but whatever. Whatever. And now we're reloading. We only had to go down the street to reload. And this load is taking us to Illinois. And it looks like we're going to be there... Oh, Wednesday, if I carry through with this load, because I'll be leaving Tuesday with it. That way the shop has time to look at this truck yet. And Oh, that reminds me, i got to call the shop. Let them know I'm going to be there Monday. All right, so we're here at Flying J in Edmonton now, on the east side on Pembina Road. We are loaded, so we have to send in our paperwork, so it's going to be cleared to cross the border when we're there. We also got to send in our uh, PODs, our proof of delivery from the last load that we delivered. So, got to get her done. Now we got to get a parking spot here somewhere yet. Preferably a good one. Man, there's a lot of handicap spots here. Very Please nice. drive to highlighted route. Yeah, I'm going to go around the back, I think. Oh no, I see a spot there, so I'm gonna go around this way. And then we're gonna park on the other side. And we're off! Diesel lost his seat to my logbooks and my Timbits. 
I should probably give him a tin bit to say thank you, eh? Sorry that you lost your seat. Which one, which one? That one looks good. There you go, Diesel. Did you get it? Oh, good. There you go. Have a tin bit. Have a tin bit. Tin bits are good. You're wondering, what's a tin bit? Tim bit is what would the equivalent be of Dunkin' Donuts? Do you have Robin's Donuts in the States? It'd be like a Robin's Egg at Robin's Donuts or a, a donut hole. This, it's like, it's this thing. It's a chocolate one. This thing, you know, it's like the center of a donut. It's just a ball. It's like a donut, but it's a ball. That is good. Mm. Mm. I love Tim Bits. Oh, and the scale's closed today. That's always good. So. Wash it down with some good old Timmies. If you're wondering what kind of Timmies does he get? If you ever want to surprise me and buy me Timmies. Hint, hint. You can always feel free to send uh, Timmies to my fan mail address, eh? Huh? You can buy the little curtains. Little curtains and a little cans of Timmy's. You don't have to do that though. That'd be a lot of shipping. Don't do that. But uh, if I buy it from the store, if I get an extra large, this is an extra large Timmy's. I put three cream in it. That's it. Just cream, no sugar. Sugar ruins coffee. Doesn't taste like coffee then. Tastes like sugar. No. You need Timmy's. So extra large, three cream. If I get a large, I get two cream. If I get a medium or a small, I get one cream. That's my preferences at Timmy's. I got another phone call. Where's my headset? Okay, time for joke of the day. Joke of the day. You excited, Diesel? We got an animal one today. There was two bats hanging from a tree branch. Upside down, pondering things in life, and one looks over to his friend and he says, Buddy, what would you say was the worst day of your life? His friend looks back and says, The day I had diarrhea. That wasn't funny either. You never laugh at my jokes. That was funny. Well, you might have thought it was funny. Let me know your input. Don't forget to send in your favorite joke. Remember, it's got to be relatively short. It's got to be clean. Send it to my Facebook inbox. Link is in the description down below. If I choose yours to use, I will give you credit in the video. You might see your name in an upcoming video. All right. North Battleford, Saskatchewan. We're up in uh, sort of central, Northern Saskatchewan on uh, Highway 16, the other road. There's the main road, Trans Canada number one. This is the other road, Trans Canada number 16. There's only two. So if I'm not on one road, I must be on the other road. And now we're on the other road. Pretty simple out west here in Canada. I like to keep it simple. Don't like to confuse people. You know, wherever you're going, you're either on that road or this road. That's it. We are 10 hours from home, and I don't think I'm going to make it tonight because if I go straight through, it's going to be 4:30 in the morning by the time I get home. <laughs> 6:30 right now. So I don't think I want to drive till 4:30, even if I can legally. I'll probably stop and sleep somewhere, and then I want to try to get to Regina at least, sleep down there. And it's only like a six hour drive home. All right, so we're going to Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. We're stopping Husky here, but what is with all this traffic? It's a lineup as long as I can see here. Oh, is there something going on at their little arena thingy here? What in the world is this? This lineup goes all the way into the city. Wow, is anyone going to let me in here even? I 
That guy's gonna let me in. Nice Saskatchewan people. Very nice, even though you have a rider hat on and you're cheering for the riders, you're a very nice person. Very, very nice person for letting me in. That's my friend. What? I have some friends that are rider fans. What? What you gonna do? Okay guys, remember that long lineup I was telling you that was going right into the city? Look at the other side of the road. All those cars, they're all lined up to go to that credit union center on the left behind them there to go see the Jets play. That's right, the Winnipeg Jets are in town. No wonder there's so much excitement. Drive 3.4 kilometers, then take ramp on right to Trans Canada Highway East. Saskatchewan doesn't have their own hockey team, so they borrow ours for one game of the exhibition season. Uh, so Winnipeg Jets are playing the Boston Bruins here in Saskatoon. Saskatchewan! Go Jets, go! You know what I find weird? I had no idea the Jets were playing here until someone at Tim Hortons told me. Because all I saw were Boston jerseys. What? You're telling me the next province over from us is cheering for the Boston Bruins instead of our team? What in the world, Saskatoon? You know, I was being so nice to you before saying that you Ryder fans are my friends. I didn't know you were Boston fans too. Now I don't know. Our friendship is on the line here thought you'd at least cheer for our Jets, seeing as, you know, they're your neighboring province's team. And you don't have a team of your own, we're borrowing ours to you. Last time we borrow you our Jets, I'll tell you what. If I had any say in that. Look at this traffic, eh? It's still backed up all the way out here. All these people. You think that they're all gonna go see the Jets? Oh no, they wanna see Boston, apparently bunch of crazy rider fan Boston people. I don't know about you Saskatoon. I'm very disappointed. Two kilometers. Take ramp on right to Trans Canada Highway East. I'm trying to look in a few of those cars that are on the other side there and all I'm seeing are Boston jerseys. Winnipeg, are you offended? I'm offended. How dare you Saskatoon? We, there's no Boston jersey. We borrowed you our team and that's what you do? Next time you can borrow Calgary's team. How about that? I'm not even gonna cheer for us. Well, Diesel, the day's over again! How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Got a little something on your eye there. How does that make you feel? Don't on my face! So we are in Regina, Saskatchewan. Shut her down here. We made ourselves a parking spot. That's right. No parking spots left. We make a parking spot. Actually, it was a parking spot, just not a designated one. I don't know. You just park wherever. It's like a regular Canadian truck stop. Just fit her in there somewhere. Hey, squish her in. There's room for everybody. Uh, what? You can't get out in the morning? Oh, well, that's too bad, I guess. Didn't think of that one. No, I'm not blocking anybody in, but it happens so often in Canada at the truck stops. You wake up and you're all blocked in. It's like people don't think, oh, maybe that guy has to get out in the morning. Since he was here before me, he'll probably leave before me. No, they don't think of that. No. Anyways. Yeah, Regina, Saskatchewan, this is the end of what, day five? Tomorrow we're gonna be home, so it'll be a six day trip. That's the perfect kind of trip. Perfect, five to six days. That's just. Mm, perfect. And then we'll be home till Tuesday, October 2nd. No, October 1st. That's when we're leaving. We're going to go to the Illinois side of Davenport, Iowa. It's right at the border there. Illinois, yeah. Diesel, you want to say good night today? Mm -hmm. Got anything to Drive add? 500 meters, then turn right on one. What? Why are you talking, Mandy? The day is over. I'm not even moving. The truck's not even running, Diesel. She's still yapping at me. Nag, 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 nag. She just never stops.